What's good with y'all? So I'm back with another video today and today we're going to be discussing how to survive your AP statistics class this year. Now I know a lot of you guys think this might be a blow off class just because it's easier than the other difficult math class, AP Calculus BC or AB, but trust me this class will quickly catch up to you if you're not prepared, especially in that second semester. So be sure you watch this entire video. Now before we get started, be sure you hit the like and subscribe button down below so you can stay tuned for future content. And without further ado, let's get started with tip number one. All right, so my first tip for you guys is to utilize a software called StatsMedic. Now StatsMedic is a resource that you're gonna find online on Google, and it basically just outlines every single lesson that's gonna appear in your entire AP statistics curriculum. So what I recommend you doing is the a night or two before your big test, your unit test, your game day, I want you guys to really go on that resource and go through every single key for the notes for every single lesson within that unit. That's gonna make sure you guys get a solidified understanding of that content. Now, if you've not been paying attention in class and you really just don't know the content at all, I recommend actually doing those notes um, through their you know, videos and then checking it with their key just so you guys actually learn the content because that is very beneficial. But what's really gonna help you guys more when utilizing StatsMedic is to utilize their homework section. They normally, on each lesson, attach two to three practice problems that are FRQ style that will really help you gauge your understanding of the content. And the reason this is actually important is because the way AP Statistics is graded is a lot different than other AP classes, especially on the FRQ. Instead of just giving you the full point or giving you zero points, they actually grade you in three different ways. You can either get an E for excellent, a P for partial, and an I for incorrect. And the reason this is important to note is because you need to make sure that you're earning every single point because they are very strict with the vocabulary. If you mention even one word wrong on the FRQ, just one word, if you describe some kind of data set or yeah, some kind of data set in an incorrect way with just one word, you will be knocked down to either the P or a lot of times even the I. So it's really important that you go through these FRQs, do them, and then check in with the key and make sure you're not missing those things by one word or two words or whatever it might be. Make sure that your description is as close to the key's description as possible. My second tip for you guys is to watch a YouTuber named Mostly Math with Ashley. I know she definitely carried my grade throughout that entire course, so I highly recommend you watch her videos. And the reason I recommend those videos is because a lot of times the stats medic resources are very simplified and it won't get you through all the content you need and there simply isn't enough practice. And with Mostly Math with Ashley, what she does is she will actually have a nice visual representation of the notes going through every single lesson. Now I will say her video, videos are a bit old, so some of the curriculum might have tweaked just a little bit, but this is still a wonderful resource to use to get the general idea of the topics. So again, the night or two before the test, I highly recommend you go through her videos and just make sure you're understanding all the topics. And I highly recommend that you only use her resource for topics that you truly don't understand. Maybe you weren't paying attention in class and you don't know a specific co uh, concept, so please look at her videos in those cases or if you're really struggling with a concept that you can't understand, definitely watch our videos. Last tip for you guys is to do practice questions on albert.io's AP Statistics question bank for every single unit and lesson. Now, the reason this is so important is because, especially if you're coming from a background where you've taken calculus or some kind of other higher level math, you know that math is generally known as a very objective subject, right? You either get the answer or you don't. There's really no in between. But AP Statistics has this kind of way of being able to analyze and being able to describe data, et cetera, which kind of adds a subjective portion. So you can't just memorize the formulas and look at the notes and expect to be prepared on game day, AKA the test, right? But you have to actually be able to apply that information within the MCQs, the multiple choice questions and the FRQs to actually understand whether you know the content or not. You can know all the content in the world, but if you walk into that test and don't know how to apply it, you're not getting your grade on that exam. I mean, a lot of times that's what separates from people from getting a three or four or four or five on their AP test as well. And so go online on Albert IO and they'll have a list of every single lesson within each unit um, for the entire year. And they'll have between 10 or sometimes upwards of like 40 questions that you can practice from. So if you know, for example, you're struggling with one specific lesson within the unit, you can go on there, practice those practice questions and make notes of what specific things you're missing and then you can go to those previous resources I outlined in the last two tips to really solidify that understanding of those topics. I appreciate y'all sticking around to the end of this video and I'm glad you did because I actually have one very special opportunity for you guys. 
So I'm actually looking for people to be on the Master HS YouTube team with me so we can push out more content and more specific niches to help people learn content in high school. So if you're someone that has a really niche background in computer science or that's someone that's really knowledgeable in things like accounting, finance, you know, languages, math, calculus, statistics, etc. I appreciate it if you all could click the form down in the description of the video so you guys can click that and apply to be a part of this team. I'd love to have you guys on and that's something I'd really be appreciated for. And so without further ado, I'd appreciate it if you could hit the subscribe and like button and until next time, see ya.